Corsair has some concept cases, like you do concept sorry, cars. Sorry. And one of the interesting things about these concept cases is they could bring them you know, to production, as is, or they can take some ideas from them and let them trickle down into the main line. Just like you have like a Formula One car, uh, and all the new stuff comes there first, and you got a, con you know, a concept car, and then some of those features will trickle into the stuff that's on the market. So let's check out a couple of these. First off, the concept slate. Now it's like made to fit under a desk, so it's not as tall as the 900D, but it is wider. And uh, this is like their new Obsidian series. They're trying to update and modernize it. It's all thick tempered glass. So on the inside here, you can fit two systems. ITX right here on the bottom, and then you can uh, swivel the I.O. if you want to. You can reposition it either way you want. And then all the way up to an SSI uh, CEB right here. Grommets everywhere. This thing is uh, freaking nice. See all your trays here? Now this is the thing that really blew my mind out of all this. Check this out. You want to install your radiators? Look how easy it's going to be to install your radiators. I just, I just, yes, that just happened. So as you can see, two 480s in the front. And as you see right there, look at all that space right, right in there. You've got plenty of space. So that's cool. You can mount those radiators right there. How about this? Oh, yes. Another one up on top. And so around here on the back, look at all that. Now, we've got French doors right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull them open. The blackest case in the blackest corner of the room. So you can mount SSDs right here. Access to all your hard drive trays right there. Um, you have SFX power supply that can be mounted over here. There's plenty of room for cable routing. More SSDs can be mounted on this door right here. It's too dark. You just can't see everything, but I'm telling you guys. Now here it is with the system in it. You guys can see the... Uh, all the fans in the front. It can hold 34 fans. This machine has $700 worth of fans in it. More concepts. This is Project Zeus. It's a mouse that they are uh, developing right now. Someone's been eating things. All right, so there it is in the light so you can see it a little better. Uh, button placement's interesting. Got a couple buttons right here on the side, plus the thumb button right there in the middle. As you guys can see, it's wired or wireless. This might be the 3367 that they've been using because it's probably the best sensor they've ever used. Maybe they've got a new one coming out. I don't know. But here's the cool thing about it. Let's see here. This mouse pad. That's a Qi charging station. So that's how you charge your mouse. You just put it right there and you're good to go. Now, let's say you want to charge your phone. If your phone has Qi charging, you can be playing games and you can put your phone over there. Just make sure your sensitivity is high enough that you're not throwing stuff all over the place. There we go, put it right there. And if your phone does not uh, you know, work with that, they've included this little USB device. And you just plug this in and then that'll charge it. All right, so interesting new mouse. Let me know what you guys think. In this water chamber right here, we have a K68 keyboard. You guys see it there. It's a single color. Uh, backlit and the special thing with this one is they've created the uh, you know channels here now these channels will route the water and dust and everything so that it doesn't get destroyed you can just I don't know pour coffee all over it I don't care do whatever you want so it's your keyboard it's gonna be about 89 bucks it's also a decent price point and it's Cherry MX so uh, that's the newest as far as the Corsair keyboards go all right here's a new concept case based on the 780T 360 millimeter radiator there in the front and uh, if you guys can see this texture or not this entire thing is wrapped in carbon fiber done by hand 18 grand worth of carbon fiber so that's ridiculous now the main thing that they've done here is they've updated a few things they've added curved glass to the front which made it sleeker and sexier all the way around uh, it's a beautiful case but it's mostly still gonna adhere this to the 780t specs with just a few uh, you know new bells and whistles new mounting spots for things it's just a modernized version of the 780t see the new reservoir are in there another concept case and it is pretty some secret stuff here guys this is a cabbie lake x and over here we have sky lake x and what's the real difference well extreme speed and um dual channel over here and then over there it's a little slower but it's quad channel so you know, give and take right there uh, they won't let us see the cpu tab just yet uh, but this one is running at 4600 megahertz as far as the ram goes 
and the timings are nice and tight down at 19. Let's go over and check out the uh, Skylake X over here. Man, I want to see that CPU, but they won't let me. They won't let me see the freaking CPU. Anyway, here we've got 120 gigabytes of memory. That's uh, 8 times 16. So lots of memory in there. This is running at 3800 with a cast latency of 19. That was not achievable for the Extreme Series stuff. It was not really achievable. So now we've got Watch Channel Extreme Speed and a cast latency of 19. Looking good right there. We've got a case mod here from uh, Lee Harrington. You guys may know him. This is a Bulldog case mod, and they've gone after muscle cars because they're showing off their new uh, Dominator Torque. Actually, Dominator Platinum Torque memory on the inside right there. It is more speed than necessary. They said it's advertised at 3200, but it'll do quite a bit faster than that. But well, this is a nice little Bulldog build here, done up to look like an old muscle car. Makes a lot of sense. Bulldog GTO. This dark sci-fi looking tower, that's the Corsair 1. It's still around, and it is really looking good. The guys here at Corsair are beyond excited about this thing, and after they showed me a few things about it, I can see why. Uh, first off, having everything in this case. Yeah, you, you can build something this small, but at idle, it's 22 decibels, and they've done that by carefully designing and organizing every single piece of this, the attention to detail uh, and the quality of everything, even down to each individual cable right here, is ridiculous. So let's start off with just these cables. Now, they needed to do some immaculate cable routing here uh, in order to make this work. So they have a custom power supply that's rated up to 70C because it's on the top and the heat's going to rise through the top. And it's fully modular. So these are low gauge tiny cables so they had to get special low gauge cables so they're still going to be high quality but they're small enough so that they can be immaculately routed like this uh, they also put a lot of attention into the different components all the way through to make sure that it's cool and quiet and that was one of the big things they had to get right was the thermals so they've improved those over you know since last year you can see we have the, the radiator here in this side, and that goes to the CPU. That's full-on uh, Z270 MSI custom board inside there. Nice little tiny board right there. And then we have our fan here that mounts on the top. And this is uh, what's going to keep everything running cool and also nice and quiet. Let me show you the other side here. It's got a really cool texture on it, I think. Quite enjoy that. Now let's see the other side. Over here on the other side, that's a 1080. We've got a you know custom cooling solution. So if you grab the 1080... It's going to be a bit of an involved process if you want to swap it out, but if you've got the 1070, they just put a standard uh, 1070 over here on the side, and you can swap out any dual slot card uh, that you want to. There's also a 1080 Ti SKU that's uh, coming very, very soon. Yeah, this one's really awesome. We've got the full-on radiator over here. Now, you notice up here on the top, all of the outputs on this can be routed. They've got you know HDMI here in the, in the front, so you can do your VR stuff. So they've got a special little panel here they've they put together um, with pass through for all your different uh, display options. You know, display port and HDMI, and then right there that's your uh, going to be for your power. And then that's the standard I/O for the for the motherboard. This thing is beautiful. I mean, it it is uh, you know a system that comes pre-built, but you're not getting bottom of the line parts here. They've they've gone all out with the parts you're not getting like the crappiest you know the crappiest PSU on the planet you're getting a specially designed PSU that can handle you know 15 to 20 more uh, degrees Celsius than most on the market you're getting a custom motherboard so this thing is very impressive guys and it looks really nice when it's put together all right let's show you the ridiculous Computex uh, pink and rid uh, old school 70s color scheme over here look at that thing why not so this is a new prototype software, so it's probably going to be the new Q software, but one of the nice things about this is it allows them to unify the entire RGB on the entirety of your desk, and right now the MSI motherboard, but possibly, you know, some of the other brands in the future, but right now, uh, they have this just, I guess, showing how it all syncs up and goes all the way across the keyboard, to the mouse pad, to the motherboard, to the fans, to the LED in the case, pretty ridiculous. And then uh, when you're watching a movie or something, uh, and then there's too many lights, you can just Push a button, and all of a sudden, all the lights are off. Now you can watch your movie or whatever you're going to do. You know, pretty cool. You can do a lot. You know, you, I guess you guys can program tons of other effects like you're used to from the Cor Corsair software. This is the rainbow. It's swirling all the way around. So you guys can keep this as sleek, pretty as, as you like. Or if you're a carnival ride operator with four teeth left, you can go crazy with it, if that's your thing. But I think a lot of you guys are going to be using it like this, unifying and making everything one color and that sort of thing. But let me know how you would use this new software. 